Welcome to the Viking Repair Parts video. My name is Sean Kramer and I will be walking you through step by step for the repair parts of the Viking Model C1 thermostatic release. Here are the tools that will be needed for the repair parts. Prior to working on the C1 thermostatic release, refer to the appropriate technical data sheets for placing the system out of service. We will be covering the installation of the maintenance kit for the Viking Model C1 thermostatic release. The repair parts offered in the maintenance kit are as follows. Schrader valve core, spring, spring retainer, diaphragm, seal ring, screen, clamp plate, clapper, screws, fixed temperature release, and the adjustment kit. First, we will need to remove the screws from the back of the cover to expose the Schrader valve core. With the screws removed, we can now remove the cover. Next, we will need to remove the socket set screw from the lever arm. Now we can remove the Schrader valve core from the assembly. Remove the fixed temperature release from the thermostatic release using the appropriate wrench. Remove the screws to separate the cover from the body. With the cover separated from the body, the spring, seal ring, spring retainer, diaphragm, screen, clamp plate, clapper, and button head screw can now be removed. With the existing parts removed, we can now start to install the new parts into the body. Install the cover onto the body, making sure that the element tube is in line with the outlet for the fixed temperature release. Line up the holes and install the screws. Install the new fixed temperature release into the body with the protective clip installed and using the appropriate wrench. Once the new fixed temperature release is installed, remove the protective clip. Install the Schrader valve core into the thermostatic release. Partially install the socket set screw into the lever arm. At this point, we will need to pressurize the release line inlet. If your water pressure is 175 PSI or less, pressurize it with air or nitrogen to 30 PSI. If your water pressure is over 175 PSI, up to 250 PSI, we will want to pressurize it to 50 PSI with air or nitrogen. With the pilot line now pressurized, carefully insert the feeler gauge between the Schrader valve core and the socket set screw. Use the Schrader valve core tool to tighten the socket set screw until it makes contact with the feeler gauge and opens the release. Remove the feeler gauge from the release and make sure that it closes. We can now remove the pneumatic hose from the back of the release. Remove the adapter where we made the connection to the quick connect. With the thermostatic release now set to the proper adjustment, install the cover back onto the housing. Install the two screws into the cover. This concludes the repair parts video for installing the maintenance kit in the Viking Model C1 thermostatic release. If you need additional information, or have additional questions, please visit our website at vikinggroupinc.com or call our toll-free number at 877-384-5464.